What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today it is going to be a NAP special, a 4-2-4 that scored a hat full of goals and was a ton of fun to play with. Today we're going to test with four very different teams, I think we're going to want to get into this one. So as I mentioned, it is going to be a nap special and this tactic really did perform on all levels as you're going to see in the tactic test. And I do want to say, if you do enjoy the content on this channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out all the rest of the content me and Jake do provide because there's some pretty cool stuff on the channel. But let's go through and work away from best all the way down to worst. So starting off with the best team, probably in the game alongside a PSG and Bayern potentially, that is going to be Manchester City. Obviously over in England, but we enjoy a fantastic season, not only winning the Premier League, unfortunately the Champions League runners up. We didn't claim that, but we do win the Super Cup in 4-2 fashion over Sevilla. The FA Cup we are also going to win against Liverpool in 4-0 fashion, and the Carabao Cup come on then, come home as well. We'll have that against Arsenal in the 1-0 fashion and also the Community Shield, we absolutely batter Arsenal 6-0. Now the Premier League, I will say we went invincible. 36 wins, 2 draws and 0 losses. So the perfect season there with some real key players contributing with goals, average rating and assists. It's an absolute masterclass from the boys in the sky blue. Now what I will say, we absolutely stampeded when it comes to stats. 152 goals compared to Liverpool with 82. The most shots, the fewest shots against, the fewest conceded and the most clean sheets all go in our favour. Now going to the data hub, of course, we are going to look for the first time, as you can see by that message. It is going to be bang on four goals per game, 0.45 conceded, over 24.5 shots and 87% pass completion and a very tidy tackle win ratio. This might just be one of the better 4-2-4s we've had on this channel. And this sort of domination is what we've come to expect with Naps. With Naps tactics, you get literally world-class play every single time. I mean, they're absolutely phenomenal. And as you can see here, absolutely dismantling one of the better teams in the game in Liverpool with Haaland just having his way with the Liverpool backline. An immaculate bit of press in here, forcing a mistake into Alvarez, who slots it past Alisson Becker. And one more goal now, of course, in this 4-0 win. Stones over the top, bit direct, gets the job done. Lovely. We're then going to go over to Rangers, the second favourites to win the Scottish League in the game. I'm not trying to catch any smoke, but in the game, they are second predicted. The Scottish Cup, we are going to win against Celtic in a 2-0 game. So hopefully I'm winning the hearts of the Rangers fans in this video. And also the Viaplay Cup, we are going to lift against Aberdeen in 2-0 fashion. Now going over to the Champions League, we knocked ourselves out with Manchester City. But the Cinch Premiership, we are going to come in and we are going to win it again. Going invincible, 37 wins and one draw. That draw coming in against, we can't even see so that's a bit interesting but overall a very very good season and as you can see a very familiar tale being told loads of players in the assist it is going to be Tavernier being one of the best players in the division and he's a really good player in this league and a great goal scoring outlet from Danilo which usually is the same story now as you can see 178 goals being scored 937 shots 127 against us the fewest conceded and the most clean sheets defensively we were an absolute brick wall conceding 0.16 now, I will say we are a ridiculous powerhouse in this team, and I mean a ridiculous powerhouse. So it is to be expected alongside a Celtic, apart from Celtic, which we did concede goals to, we were keeping clean sheets for fun. Now, goals per game, 4.6. Now, you can say, Josh, I know it's Rangers. You're going to get these stats. You might be right, but still to this level, it does fall down also to how good the tactic is because you can't just load any tactic in and score four goals a game so hats off to nap once again a great amount of shots and a fantastic pass completion this one is looking like one for the ages go over and test with Cadiz a team I believe predicted to finish around 13th to 14th place maybe even 15th and we had our way fantastically as you can see winning the division it wasn't flawless and I will say six draws and three losses so nowhere near invincible but we did get the job done now the cup we are also going to win luckily and I use the word luckily because we got battered. We got a little lucky golden extra time and we are going to claim it. I'm not going to complain, but it wasn't a dominant performance. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Now, what I will say here is we are not obviously going to win the top goal scorer. Robert Lewandowski does exist. So we are going to claim second and joint second, which I'll happily take because it shows we're still up there with the best. The same goes with the average rating and also the most assists. Now, again, a very familiar story is being told. We are outscoring everyone. Defensively, we're going to be joint, well, not joint, we're going to be first, basically along the 
lines with Barca and Real Madrid. The same is going to be told with just one goal, one clean sheet advantage, should I say, over Barcelona. And two of that is going to be the likes of Bilbao. So very close inside of the top four there. And overall, it's just going to show that this tactic wins its games by scoring an absolute hat full of goals. And you can do that in Football Manager. As, much, as realistic as this game actually is, there are ways you could exploit it. And sometimes it is to say, do you know what? Let's just go all out attack and hope. And it does work. And as you can see, again, we're not even conceding a goal a game. We're scoring 2.82, easily two to what we are conceding. A great amount of shots per game, a great pass completion, and a very good tackle win ratio. It's honestly cooking. I'll show you the league game against Barcelona because there was more goals and it was a bit of a better performance as well. We come out and make it 1-0 inside of 57 minutes and there's one more goal. Not too far after, to be fair, what, nine minutes apart? We've got a player down. It doesn't stop us. Lastly, hands of Rostock, a team predicted to finish in 14th place. We have come out and smashed the Bundesliga 2, knocked out in the quarterfinals in the pockle, which is okay because we've got the job done very comfortably and got them back to the German promised land. Now, as you can see, stat-wise, this is the first test we are not going to pick up the most clean sheets. Now, we've got three plays in the top goal scorers, two in the average rating, one with the most assists. It really was an outscoring season. And as you can see now, we do not pick up the most clean sheets, all the fewest conceded, third and second place but once again and I keep stressing it goals 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 83 compared to 53 it's such an advantage you're going to be going into these games with the confidence of scoring goals and as you can see the data hub doesn't lie this is a tactic I absolutely love and now over to your favorite part of the video the tactic breakdown if you are enjoying back home that is right you be sure to subscribe and hit a like on this video and if you enjoy what I post on this channel you can come over and check out my personal stuff on my channel in the link below or type up Josh Daly on YouTube and I'm pretty sure I'll pop up somewhere but let's go through and talk about this fantastic and I mean fantastic for Two, four. So the goalkeeper is going to be a sweeper keeper simply on defend, on tackle harder, with a complete wing back on the right and on the left being mirrored. Mirrored being exactly the same. Both on attack take more risks, cross more often, dribble more, cut insides and tackle harder. We then go with a mirrored back two, two ball playing defenders, both on defend, on dribble more and also tackle harder. So quite an aggressive back line, but we're used to seeing this with map systems now and they work really, really well. So I don't question anything. Two Roman playmakers on the right and on the left, a little bit different. So starting on the left is going to be on support on moving into the channels, close down more and tackle harder with the player on the right being on close down more and tackle harder. Now, of course, there is a little bit different to make sure we are getting them in the right sort of areas if you are copying back home. The inside forward on the right is going to be set to attack and hold up the ball, roam from the position, sit narrower, close down more, tackle harder and mark in a certain position that being the D in brackets L. Just thought I'd show you that because obviously otherwise you can't see purely from this area here. Now on the left hand side it's going to be exactly the same but on support, hold up ball, roam, sit narrower, close down more, tackle harder and mark a certain position and that is going to be the D in brackets R just to showcase that as well. Now, now going up to the two up front, very important. Obviously, you've got a goal scorer. That is going to be your advanced forward on attack, roam from position and tackle harder. And the pressing forward being on support on roam and simply move into the channel. So it's a very, very attacking 4-2-4 as most 4-2-4s are, to be honest with you. But let's go through and talk about the team instruction. So it is all built off a tiki-taka on the balance mentality. We're going to go all the way down to narrow where we're going to pass into the space, underlap left and underlap right. We'll, of course, focus and play down the left and the right-hand side of the pitch. Now, the passing directness is going to be set down to shorter with a higher tempo, run at defence, and the final third being selected to low crosses. It's very meta-based. Now, in transition, counter-press, counter, press, counter distribute quickly and roll the ball out, which is really good in this game because obviously you can go to the fullbacks, the centre-backs or the playmakers, which we have two of. And lastly, we are going to go to out of possession, the much higher defensive line, the high press line of engagement, much more often prevent short goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more and invite those crosses into the box. Now, very important you've got prevent short goalkeeper distribution on because we've got four players up there. When you've got this sort of calibre of player going forward, you've got so many usually top tier players going forward press 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 it forces mistakes we saw it in the highlights if you have enjoyed today's video hopefully you have i've had a lot of fun making it be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll be seeing you in the next one enjoy the rest of your day